Street and talk for Bozo, please. And let's send a big kiss to everybody at home. <laughs> now, brush off all the sawdust, and Bozo will pick Butchie or Belinda. And as you know, Bozo doesn't peek, so I will close my eyes and I'll just say. <sighs> Who, who broke the blue? Did you break the blue, Mr. Calliope? You broke the... Did Mr. Calliope break that balloon? No. I didn't think so, because it sounded like it came from over on this... Did you, did you break the... What do you got? Hi, Bozo. What do you know? Nothing much. What got a doing? banana. This is a brand new type I've just been raising in my garden. A brand new... Brand new type of banana. You know the banana peels? You have to be careful you don't slip on them. Right. All that. This one you don't slip on. How can you not slip on In it? Huh? How can you not slip on it? Well, you didn't take a close look at my banana here. Just a second. It's see. got a zipper. This is how you peel it, see. Uh, friends? I thought we were friends. Yeah, I'm hungry this morning, you know. Yeah. I had my cereal, but I didn't have any <laughs> bananas on the... Hmm? Hmm? May I please have some of the banana? Oh, sure. Open up, say hi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of a game we're going to play later, Bozo. <laughs> Pick Butcher Belinda, would you hurry up? Pick Butcher Belinda. Would you come on and pick Butcher? He's always goofing around, isn't he? He can't even pick Butcher Belinda now. Okay, what's the first word? 
Bozo. Close Bozo. your eyes. Close my eyes. You have something in your eyes. <laughs> no, I'm Close not going to fall for that. No. You know what he's going to do, don't you? No. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, you chipped your tooth. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Bozo, Bozo, Kazam, Kazam. over there is Tim, sitting back. Come on over here, Tim. You're going to be Bozo's special helper. Is it Jim? I'm sorry, Jim. And Jim's going to come down, and Bozo has for Jim uh, what's his hat. And it says, what's right there, and I crown you my special helper, and Bozo has for his pal. Jim. <laughs> it most certainly is. I picked him. He was right over there. I have for my... What? Oh, they want me to turn around. So you can see what he looks like. And... Turn around. Yeah. Uh, like this. No. This way. No. Yes, sir. Got it. All right. Thank you, sir. There we have you. And now Bozo has for you a big Bozo poster. Whoops. This is all yours, Tim. And you may have the seat of honor right over here by Mr. Calliope's piano. And let's give him a nice seat. Speaking of nice big hands, I want to introduce some pals right now. Uh, They're going to do some Mediterranean dancers, uh, dancing, and then we're going to talk to their teacher and then find out a little bit more about them. Is that the way you'd like me to do it, Mr. Ringmaster? Introduce my little dancers first and then talk to Amara? Okay, so let's sit back and enjoy some Mediterranean dancing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tripped over the microphone there. This is our pal, Amara, and Amara, uh, you are a teacher. Yes, I am. Uh, of, uh, I guess you would call it, uh, what would be the name, the actual name for that kind of dancing? Well, what they did was Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. We have Mediterranean music, Middle Eastern music, mm -hmm. and depends what music you interpret. Right now, you saw different nationalities mm -hmm. for the kids, mm -hmm. and I believe it, it helps them a great deal because they give them confidence and pressure Mm -hmm. and creation to talk to other kids and not being self-conscious as you know many kids they can they feel kind of nice oh you know, i think it's a, it's a great i think it's a, right it's very good for them mm -hmm. uh could could anybody learn that kind of dancing oh yes especially if you start young i think uh, especially you 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 could be a very very good dancer what you can, can kids you think bozo can do this type of dance yes yeah. yes no, Bozo no, no. See, I, I went down to, to try and learn, and there was only one thing that stopped Bozo from doing that kind of dancing. What? Oh, that's not going to be no problem. <laughs> 84 feet there. <laughs> you want to see Bozo flap his shoes? <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought you were going to come right down on top of my toe. Amira, no. we're going to have you back in a few minutes uh, because you have some 
Middle Eastern dancers right. now, right? And yes. there is a difference, and we'll be talking more about that a little later on. Okay. All right? Thank you. Thanks, Amira. Let's give them all a nice big hand. Oh, they make that look so easy. And that is good for you, though. If nothing else, the exercise is good for you. And, and we're kind of happy to see our bells doing something over, like that. Would you No, I'd have a good uh, upstanding. <laughs> ah, one of my favorites. If I could write a song and get the world to sing along, think of all the music there would be. The earth would start to ring and everyone would sing a song of peace and love in harmony. Three billion voices singing together. What a happy sound. And just to think that it's my music making the world go round. People feeling sad would have the reason to be glad. I would do it with a melody If I could write a song and get the world to sing along How wonderful this world would be If I could write a song and get the world to sing along Think of all the music there would be The earth would start to ring and everyone would sing a song of peace and love and harmony. Three billion voices singing together. What a happy sound. And just to think that it's my music making the world go round. Oh, people feeling sad would have to reason to be glad. I would do it with a melody If I could write a song and get the world to sing along How wonderful this world would be If I could write a song and get the world to sing along How wonderful this world would be Okay. And we're lined up, ready to go right now with the game for the first game for the day. Boy, I got that out pretty fast, didn't I, huh? This is gonna be fun. You have to be careful with this, though, because we're gonna have to fill it up with water, and then you have to carry it over there and dump it in the bucket. But there's more to it than that, because we don't want you to carry it with two hands. We want you to carry it with just one hand. And it gets a little, it gets like that if you're not careful, see? And then when you come over there, and after you dump all the water out like this, you come over and you dump it all out, put it right back here, then bring it back with one... Oh, oh, almost fell there, didn't I, huh? Good thing there was no water in it. But that's how we play the game. You have to bring it back with one hand. Are you all set to try it? Yep. Anyone that doesn't understand, raise your hand. You don't understand it? Well, you'll learn real fast, because I'll help you with it, honey. Okay, here's the teapots. We'll put these up in front. Here's the teapots. Okay, they're heavy, yeah, it's full. Where are you going? I didn't say go yet, wait a minute, okay. Mary's all ready to go, she's already filling up her uh, cup there. One. Mary's nervous, I can see that right now. Huh? Bo's already with the whistle. Yes, I am. One, two, three, go! Put it right up there, that's right, fill it right up. Okay, now one hand, carry it over there with one hand. One hand, sweetheart, that's right, Dump it. One hand, you have to bring it back with one hand into the line. Okay, put it on there. Okay, now fill it up, hurry up. You gotta go fast, sweetheart. Yeah, a girl. Okay, pick it up there now. And a boy, Mike. Fill it right up there, Mike. That's good, Mike. Okay. okay pick it up with two and then carry it with one, Mike. One hand, Mike. And a boy. Okay, dump it out. Good boy. Put it back on top. One hand. That a boy, Mike. Way to go. Okay, the next one is on its way. Okay, the tension's gonna build in any minute. Now we're gonna have an accident, I think. We use we usually lose two or three cups every time we play this game. Okay, Marine's turn now. That a boy. Now we're gonna go again, sweetheart, but you have to go faster this time. One hand, you gotta bring it back, James. Bring it back with one hand. Bring it back now. That's right. Here we go. Here we go. 
quick up one hand. You got to bring it back to four. That's right. Next person. Oh, it's a tie game right now, right down to the wire. There they go. And away they go. And there goes Mike. One hand, Mike. That's right. Bring it back now. That's right. One hand, Mike. Okay. <laughs> gonna be close. One hand, kids. Happens every time. <laughs> and the winner is one hand. You didn't bring it back. Well, gang, there you go. You see, when you get close to the wire like that, things really get exciting. Well, since the last four people didn't use, who is that, Joe? They won over here. Man says that this team over here did a little bit better than the other team. I just have to do what he said. So team number two over here will be the couple grand prize winners, okay? Oh, we've got prizes for all the girls and boys, so don't feel... What kind of prizes do we have? Well, we have Orange Crush Bozo for the winners, and then for the almost winners, great big jumbo packs of gum. Oh, I don't think it's that big. How big are they? <laughs> she says, I don't think they're that big. I can see them right over there. <laughs> <laughs> they're Clark's gum right here, fruit punch gum. They're about like this, and they're going to have fun with it. Give yourself a big hand for doing a good job. Come on, yeah. Minimum rate for students. Just teasing with our pal Amara, and as we mentioned before, uh, Amara, you are a dancer yourself, of course. Yes, of course. And professionally, yes, and uh, you uh, teach the uh, children. Yes. Uh, but we still haven't been able to find out what you call the actual dance. Is there a name for the dance? I mean, like, uh, would you call it, um, like, a, um, what am I thinking? Like belly dancing. I mean, it's oh, not that's only an American term. I don't call it belly dancing. No, dance. but I mean, is there a name for the dance itself? Middle Easting. Because, uh, like I said before, it originated from all the Middle Eastern countries, from the Mediterranean seas. Right. So once it doesn't, doesn't specify to one country, it comes from all um, over. Okay. But this group, uh, you'll see, they're all Middle Eastern, they're all Arabic girls. I see. And they're okay. very proud of them, so now they do a very good job. this will be specific to one country. Actually. Yes, Middle East. Okay. The Middle East. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. And how long have they been dancing? Oh, they've been with me about seven months. Okay, and now we're going to find out how our little pals can dance in seven months, right? Definitely, and they're cute. Yeah, they sure are. I have one that's only two years old. Is she going to join us? Oh, yeah, she's going to join me. All right, Amira, well. let's give him a nice big hand and let's see what...
You know what? You think you could dance like that, Pat? Hmm? No, I don't think so. That's not, that's not for the guys, that's for the girls, isn't it, huh? And it's kind of exciting, don't you think? Boy, it'd sure keep your waist in trim, wouldn't it, if you could do that? Time for a trick, and, and Pat's gonna help. This good-looking Pat right here. Hi, good-looking Pat. Don't you say much? He's, he, his face is warped like this. He just smiles all the time, right, Pat? Do you ever look sad? Let me see you look sad. For somebody that looks sad, you curl up on the sides when you did that. Huh? Boy, I guess so. We're going to try a magic trick with you right now, okay? It has to do with a special kind of cards. These are called alphabet cards. You know why they call them alphabet cards? Why? Because they have the letters on them. They have the letters of the alphabet, that's right. That means that's as good a reason as any that I can think of. And uh, I tell you what we'll do. We'll shuffle up the deck of cards a little bit. And then we're going to have you select one. And we'll go on with the trick, okay, from there? Is that, that's enough, isn't it? We don't want to overshuffle them or anything. Tell me when to stop, could you? Stop. Right there? Is that where you want me to stop? No, put the deck together. Okay, no, I want you to look at this bottom card, that's why. Have you got it? Can we show it to everybody at home? All right, everybody's had a chance to see it. We're going to put the deck back together, and now you tell me what your card was. A lie. Why? Well, why is because we're going to do this trick with these two pieces of glass that go in this holder, and I have to know what card you chose. Because you can tell me what card you chose? Why? I just got through telling you why. You see, because we're going to do this trick with these uh, uh, cards, and I have to know what card you chose, because I have to make it do something. And So what card did you choose? Why? The letter Y. Oh, the letter Y. I didn't understand. Now I finally figured out what you were trying to say. On second thought, I think we better forget about the letter Y and take a new one. Is that all right? All right, we'll shuffle it up again. That's a good thing. Is the Y it? Oh, I thought the Y was on the bottom or somewhere. Where did the Y go anyway? I bet you it disappeared on us. Hmm. I don't even know where it would be right now, but I'll tell you what we will do. You tell me when to stop again, okay? No. Right there? Take a look at it. N. Oh, no, you didn't have to tell me, but that doesn't matter. Did you see the N? Okay, it's an N. Now, you take the deck of cards and hold on to those for a second, okay? Had a boy, and we'll take these two pieces of glass that we have here, put them together, and stretch them right with the rubber band like that, and I think they'll fit inside of this holder, something like that. Now, step around to the front of the counter. Could you do that for me, please, Pat? Had a boy, and I want you to do me a small favor. Open up the cards nice and loose in your hand, if you can. That's boy. You can use both hands if you want to, and hold them like that, and make them even looser. And then I want you to throw the deck of cards right at this piece of glass on the count of three. Can you do that? Now, don't miss it. Are you going to miss them? No. Maybe back up just a little bit and try it again. Okay. And then you just kind of throw them at the glass. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. That it didn't make all that noise. What are you, what's there in the middle? Well, let's take this out and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay. We'll open this up here and here and caught right in the center is the number, or the letter N, right between the two pieces of glass. And for him, we have some Fruit Punch, Clark's Fruit Punch gum, and you'll have some fun with that. Thank you, sir. Real quick, we have to say hi to Sam Snake. Sam lives over in the basket here. And Sam, come on up real fast and say hi to all the kids. Here comes Sam now, the smartest snake in the world is on his way up. Good looking Sam Snake. Sam's got a sign in his mouth too, kids. And we take a close look at it. Time for a break. Oh, Sam, I know what you mean. It's intermission time, so we'll be back in just a moment. Stay right there. Stay right there with you, Danny, because here comes the treasure chest. Whoa! And inside of Bozo's treasure chest, we have a treasure chest full of prizes, like six bottles of orange crush. And we also have many other prizes. How would you like to make your own little invitations, your personalized stationery, or maybe your own little greeting cards that you could send to your friend? Well, from Skillcraft, they've got everything that you need to do it. Yep, you can even have a little card that you can invite somebody to some party that you're having. A Bozo poster, like my pal Butchie one. 
Louisville Slugger baseball bat. Love to do, to do, do. I love baseball. And then, of course, we have uh, the Pink Panther. But the Pink Panther this time is some crazy foam. And all my pals know about crazy foam. Like to learn out more about animals? Well, Bozo and his pals here have an album of prehistoric animals. All kinds of mammals and uh, mammoths and all the... Uh, well, let's see. We'll open it up and we'll see if we can find one of the big color pictures that we have. Lum -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Bozo gets all the pages without something on them. Ah, there we are. Lum -da 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 -da. Uh, your sus spellius. Is that what it says? Your sus spellius, I guess you can call it. Right? And it kind of looks like a like the a bear that we would have to. It is, it's a cave bear that we have. All right. Lum -da -da -da. The World War II action vignette diorama and it's Benghazi right over here that has your own little field and it has uh, like a, a road scene and tanks and jeeps and everything set right up on top there and you can put it together yourself. We want to thank our pals from the squadron shop for sending this down. And we also have, boy, you guys lucky, a brand new 1975 Mustang. Oh, yes, right. it's, a, it's a model car kit that we have right over here and it's a brand Would you expect for nothing, a brand new <laughs> Here it is, it's a silver one, and this one of course is a two-tone, and it's a fastback two plus two. We're going to, oh, then we also have a record. We forgot that. I wonder if anybody's heard about it yet. It's the new smash, You Remember Your Womble by the Wellington Womble, and it's on Columbia Records. Then we're gonna take Butchie's hat, and along, Mr. Butchie, please come over here. And Mr. Ringmaster's hat. Reach in there, Butch, mix them up real good. And take out one of those numbers four, Bozo, please. Thirteen, lucky thirteen. Who's number thirteen? Ah, it's our little lady in the second row. She's going to play Bozo's game. Here's what we have for you. Hi, Maureen. Maureen, on the other side of Bozo's Big Top, uh, we have a big whirly twirly. If you'll please walk down there with me, I'm going to tell you about what we have. Lum to do to do to do. See the red winner there? Yeah. If you get that up at the top, Anywhere like this. Between here and here, anywhere in there, we'll give you everything that I talked about in the treasure chest. If you get this blue one like that, or this blue one like that, we'll give you both the diorama and the six bottles of orange crush, or if you'd rather prefer something more ladylike, we'd find something for you. Now, if you get anything else up there, you still may have at least the six bottles of Orange Crush. Now, how does it work? Well, you put your hand on my nose, <laughs> this one here, <laughs> and when you hear him say five, you push that nose in and you hold it, because you'll get a countdown. They'll go five, four, three, two, one, and then there'll be an explosion. When you hear